despite what you may hear. There is no doubt we are making progress. By almost every measure, we are better off than when I took office. The economy shrank in the, in the first quarter of this year. A decline in the first quarter of 2.9%. Oh, you have that Q1 GDP contraction. The middle class is getting its back broken by Obamacare. It's hard to find somebody who hasn't had their health insurance disrupted because of this law. My office has been flooded with stories from Oklahomans who found Obamacare to be one massive broken promise. The premiums, notices of which will go out later this year, are going to go up. And the cost have been raised for every family by 2500 bucks a year in this country on average. Obamacare isn't just driving up health care premiums. It's also devastating our already damaged economy. Labor force participation at an almost 40-year low. The vast majority of the decline in the participation rate has been in the age range of 25 to 45. The middle class income is down and continues to go down. Well, the American people are as insecure economically as they've ever been. Democrats, and they feel the president is disengaged from so many of these things. 54% of the president has not been competent running the government. All he has to do is look at his own policies, which have created an enormous amount of distrust. There's a lot of talk about uh, the overreach of this president and executive power. We're unable to amend appropriation bills or even go through regular order to regulate the agencies and to, to basically rein in the executive branch. We need to be able to vote on amendments. We have to have a fair and healthy debate on legislation. Just as important to our economic future, however, is reining in excessive federal spending and getting our national debt under control. We need to get back in the business of exporting and trade. Additionally, we ought to today be developing American energy resources. We need to get out of the way and let this pipeline go. And this is about energy, but it is about creating jobs, it is about growing our economy. Republicans are committed to doing everything we can to deliver relief and innovative new ideas to help these Americans.